These are our flip-flop math game decks for multiplication. There are nine decks included in the kit, times one through times nine, for students to work on and practice their basic multiplication facts. There is also an idea and game booklet included that gives you ideas on how to get started and how to use the decks. Within each deck, there are a variety of cards. You will find the answer, the product, the numeral cards. Those are in there. There's also the group model in here that shows the dots and groups. There's also the array model. There's group, those are in there. And the expression or the fact. There's also nine blank cards for you, for you to use in a variety of ways. And there's eight zap cards to be used as wild cards in the various games that can be played. Students need experiences exploring and making and counting equal sets of items and sharing or organizing items into groups. Students can use the blank cards and some counters to do their explorations. I'm using the blank cards here. One way you might do that is to place a, the groups out, place how many items are in each group, and ask the students how many counters there are. And watch the strategies they're using. How are they determining how many there are? Are they counting by ones? Maybe they're counting by twos. Are they counting by fours? We would like students to learn to be able to count by multiples. Another way to do this might be to give the students the counters, the items, and the group, the groups, but then have them decide how many go in each group. So then they have to determine how many goes in each group, and then they count them. Another way might be to give them the items, not tell them how many groups, and let them, to deter let them determine how many. So they may take these and divide them into two groups of six. Then they can take the groups and place them in there and see the equal sets. So there's a variety of ways to use counters and the cards or the groups. The cards can be used in a variety of ways. Students can practice counting by multiples using the dot cards first and counting by multiples using those. They can use the numeral cards and count by multiples using the numeral cards. Various matching games can be played. The arrays can be introduced. And when you feel the students are ready, the expression cards can be introduced. To add the division piece, you can turn the blank cards into the division expression. And you can use them in that way. There is also a game mat included to play a variety of games. The game booklet, the idea game booklet, gives the directions and a diagram for each game that's listed. There are games like Say, Sort, and Sequence and Switch. And then you can also play a concentration game where the cards are placed face down and students have to match the value. On the other side of the mat, there's another game board to play a game before and after. 
It can be quite challenging for students to use the multiplication decks to play the game before and after. There's also a game board around the outside edge on the back to play a variety of counting games. So there you have it. That's our flip-flop game decks for multiplication. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thanks.